morning. Well, welcome to the map. It is Monday, and my friend Stephanie gave me this shirt, so I was I'm wearing it today. The great thing about Pilates is that it's easy to do unless you do it right. So I just love that. Uh, this is Reformer on the Mat, so a little different than what um, Gail has been doing on Thursdays. So if you don't know anything about the Reformer, it's okay. It's really okay. So we're going to begin, and I'm going to warm you up a little bit, okay? So we're going to lie down. So let me join me, and all you're going to do is lie down, hug your knees into your chest. Good. Kind of wiggle around, and then with the tension, draw your knees to your chest. Your tailbone lifts off the mat. Kind of feel that. Let it go. Again, draw it in. Yeah, so you feel like you're stretching the vertebrae. Right? Let it go. And do it one more time. And just feel like the tailbone lifts up. All right. So place your feet flat down on the mat. Okay? Take your arms by your side. Good. All you're going to do, lift up your pelvis. Just lift it up a little bit. Okay? A little, little, little squeeze through the glutes. And then just lower your spine as one. Now I want you to think about your hip points. So come straight up. Just put that there. Good. Little squeeze. Exhale and lower as one. Let's try it again. Okay, so we lift up. And we exhale and lower down. Bring it down. Lifting up a little higher. So lift the pelvis up. Then I want you to roll down through the back of your rib cage, back of your waistband. And let those hip points um, point straight up, tailbone kind of towards the waist board. Let's try again. So lift up a little higher, kind of stay out of your neck. Yeah, easy breathing right now. And then I want you to take a breath in. And as you exhale, let's go to the rib cage, the waist, and the pelvis. Guys, we're going to do it just one more time. So go ahead, just lift up. Mm -hmm. And then take a breath in. And then exhale. Lower, ribs, waist, pelvis. For a moment, draw your right knee in, extend the left leg out, and guys, curl, head, neck, shoulders up. Okay, so you're holding on, and we can. You look down, kind of your plumb line, your midline, okay? Hold on, right now. I want you to take a breath in, look at your belly button, and exhale. Pull it away from your shirt. Easy as that. Mm -hmm. And then lower your body all the way down. Just switch it out. So lengthen the right leg, draw the left leg in, kind of square the hips as best as you can. Curl, head, neck, shoulders up. We're holding on, so you have support. Look at your belly button. We're gonna breathe in. You're gonna exhale, draw the belly button away from your shirt and your pants. Good, and lower your body all the way down. Perfect. Here, just draw the knees into your chest. Rest your neck. So remember, as we move on, if you need to, just rest your neck down, go side to side, Rejoin us, all good, all right? So from here, we're gonna take our feet like in a frog, heels together, toes apart. Good, knees over the top of the hip bones. Fingertips on the nape of your neck. Join your fingertips together, and let me curl up for a sec, and make sure you see your elbows in your peripheral vision. Hey guys, we're gonna take a breath. Look at your belly button. Inhale, exhale, scoop out the belly. Do it again. So I want you to feel, and exhale, I want you to feel the weight of your head into your fingertips. Good. Do one more breath, inhale, and exhale. You're gonna lower your body all the way down. Now draw your rib bones together, okay? Kind of point your feet, fingertips on the back of the head, curl head, neck, shoulders up. Look at your knees, we want them right over the top of our hip bones. Look at your belly button, take a breath in, exhale. Belly button away from the, on the shirt and do it again. Feel the back rib cage fill up and then exhale, cinch your waistband in. Good. Lower your body all the way down. Gorgeous. Now, from here, flex your feet really hard. So reach the fingertip, or I'm sorry, the heels to the wall in front of you. Fingertips to the back of the head. Curl, head, neck, shoulders up. Good. Take a breath in. Now, be a little more specific. Draw the leg bones together so we activate those inner thighs. Do it again. Breath comes in. Scoop out the belly. Cinch your waistband in. Inhale and exhale. And let's lower our body all the way down. And now, draw your knees to your chest. Rest your neck if you need to. So we're going to begin with something called footwork. 
we're going to do those three actions with our feet and our legs. So we start in that frog position, heels together, toes apart. Squeeze the heels together, feel the activation of your inner thighs. Fingertips in the back of the head, curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Okay, so from here, we're going to start. You extend the legs, you bend the knees. You extend the legs, bend the knees. Now, if it's you, extend to the 45 and draw this back in. Remember, whole feeling of scooping out this belly. Good. Do two more. Out and resist in. Out and resist in. Rest down. Change. Leg bones together slightly from your feet, knees over hips. Curl. Head, neck, shoulders up. Here we go. Here's your choices. Straight up. Resist. Extend to the high diagonal and bring it back in. Breath. Breathe in. Exhale deeply. Good. Look at the belly button. Keep scooping. Keep scooping. Two more. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Big inhale. Bigger exhale. Rest down. Flex the feet. Bring the legs tabletop. Curl. Head, neck, shoulders up. Okay? Now, from here, a little more vigorously. We're going to go into extend, bend, extend. So let's resist in, resist out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. We're going to work at your midline. Let's do two more. Breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, and out. Down you go. That was awesome. Okay, something called tenon stretch. So, fingertips here. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Realign, okay? Now, take the legs straight up towards the ceiling or toward the high 45. So, I want you to flex the feet on one and extend. One, two, three. Try it again. And extend. One, two, three. One more time. Okay, so keep um, scooping out this belly. And now, slowly, one, two, three, and extend the feet. Good, do it again. Feel the length you're creating in your waistband. And one more. Good, draw the knees to your chest, and down you go. Guys, that was great. All right, we're gonna create a little more heat. So, we're gonna go tabletop the legs, all right? Now, arm bones down by your side. Let's take a moment. Everybody shrug your shoulders, okay? Now. Attention, take your shoulders away from your ears right now. Open up the shoulders and feel your shoulders glide onto your spine. From here, curl head, neck, and shoulders up. Absolutely, you can stay here, or we begin pumping. Yep, that looks great. So, vigorously pumping, reaching from fingertips to armpits, and really make the action come from the backs of your arms. If it's you, okay. Remember, scooping out the belly. Okay, so hug into your midline. We take a breath. In, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Yep. Okay, so next three. Lower a little bit. Lift a little bit. Lower a little bit. And lift a little bit. One more time. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Knees to your chest. Down you go. Take a breath in. I'm going to go through the repertoire, but I really kind of want to loosen up your spine just a little bit more, so we're going to do this. Extend your legs. I'm going to do a roll up, guys, okay? Now, if you need to, if you're going to jerk up, good. Just go like this. Sit up, okay? Or extend the legs. Everybody, our tendency is to let the ribs pop, so just take a moment. Take a breath in. Exhale and fill the back of your spine, your ribs, with air. Okay, so they're really broad. All right, from here, we're going to stay the first one, but always up. So draw the leg bones together, extend the arms. Again, reset these shoulders. Here we go. Don't think, just do. Inhale, exhale, glide up. Okay, so we're here. Relax the shoulders. Pretend there's a ball here. You've brought your body up and over that ball. So, our intention here, breathe in, breathe out. Let's create more space between your vertebrae. So let's breathe length into the spine. Let's try it again. A breath comes in, exhale. And we are gonna round over, but our powerhouse is very active, breathing through the back ribs. Let's try it again. Inhale, exhale, all the way down. Now strongly flex the feet, draw the leg bones together, lift your eye base, go. Yeah, okay, and then one last time, we're gonna stay down. Inhale, 
exhale all the way down. Give your knees a hug for a sec. Awesome. Okay, so guys, from here, we're gonna move into coordination. So, legs come to tabletop, huh? Curl your head, neck, and shoulders out, awesome. And take your elbows down by your side, good. From here, extend arms, legs, open, close, bend your knees, bend your elbows. We do again. Breath comes in, hold your breath, open, close, exhale, and continue your, your exhale. So let's breathe in, open, close, good. Draw in, bend the elbows. And again, breathe, take that breath in, good. Draw this back in, one more time. This time, stay there, open, close, and then wraps, good. Okay, press your palms into the mat, open the collarbones, look at your belly. All good, pause, knees, elbows down. That was awesome. Draw your knees into your chest. All right, so we're gonna do one roll up. Extend the legs, depress the shoulders, bring the length down the spine. Here we go. Exhale as you come all the way up. Okay, good. We're gonna work into rowing. So from here, the leg bones come together, but then I want you to slightly bend your knees. Okay, so from here, take your hands into fists, mm -hmm, and you're just gonna take your thumbs and roll them right towards the top of your ribcage, but really strongly press your palms, and really depress the shoulders, and squeeze your shoulders on your back. From here, we're gonna curl our tail and round back, eye gaze comes to your mind. Take the arms strongly out to the sides. They're really active. Okay, so begin the dive forward and then reach the arms behind you. Clasp your, clasp your thumbs if you can. Lift up and then guys, out of your heart center, reach your fingertips. Reach your arm bones towards your toes. And we sit up, okay? So let's have breath. So we inhale, curl the tail around the spine. Exhale, strongly press. Now begin and inhale as you dive. Exhale, lift up the arms, and then circle all the way around. Good, let's try it again. Do you have to go depth of range of motion? No, you can come here. Strongly to the side. Now, find the small of your back. Lift up as far as you can, and then really challenge it as you reach from fingertip to fingertip all the way forward. Now, slightly divide the legs, uh, hip width apart, but bend the knees. Now, we're gonna, from here, we're gonna do um, 90 degrees, okay? So you bend your elbows, uh, draw into your midline. Guys, heavy pelvis, breath through the back ribs, lift belly button to spine, and simply hinge back. So your eye gaze changes, extend the arm bones by your ears. The flat spine, Come forward, then round the spine. Scoop the arms back. Again, same finish. Thumbs, fingertips, wherever you can get. Lift up, okay, drop back in your waistband. Circle around, sit up tall, and again, find the hinge, find the extension. Find the roundness, the C curve, curve of that spine. Ease this back. Feel the hands together, lift up and use that. Draw the shoulders on your back as you circle around. One more time, guys. So, breathe in, exhale, glide forward, weave with the crack of the head, slide back, lift up, circle around, and then sit straight up. Very good. All right, from here, take the legs together. Flex the feet. Mm -hmm. You're going to take your elbows right by your ribs. Depress the shoulders. Now, from here, throw in front of the chest. As you extend your arms to the high diagonal, okay? Tap the mat. You're going to lift up to the high diagonal and then circle around. So let's try it again. So you extend, sit up taller. Tap down, weave with the crown of the head, tailbone down. Lift up and circle around. All right, so let's get breath. Breathe in. Exhale, cinch that waistband in. 
inhale, breathe, right through the waistband, exhale, good, let's try one more time. Again, work your angles, 45, or I'll find your ears to challenge even more. So press the shoulder, shoulders wide onto your back, and circle around. So this is rolling from the hip. So now, just simply round the spine, but of course, we're active here. So, use your mat. So, press the palms along the mat, okay? Lift up to armpit height, reach forward, as now, you stack each of the vertebrae. Finish by lifting up and circling around. First thing you do, round over. So glide forward, reach the fingertips up, breathe through the back ribs, lift up and circle around. Two more times, guys, so here we go. Inhale, breath out. Breathe in, and of course, belly button is fine. Good. Round up, lifting tall, and circle around. Good. Take your arms out to the side. Okay. <laughs> yes. Put your hand down. It's okay. I want you to crisscross applesauce. Yeah. Good. All right. So, treating. Taking your hands together like kind of like an X. Place it at the nape of the neck. Okay. Now we're slightly going to hinge forward, but guys. Our elbows are in our peripheral vision, yet we're finding the challenge of opening up just a little bit, but your ribs are connected. Now, from here, slide the arms to the high diagonal, yeah, active, and then bend the elbows down to the nape of the neck. We add a breath. We breathe in to extend. Exhale, deepen. Now, this time, if you want, try to straighten your arms all the way, but look what happens to the shoulder girl. Okay, so I'm not going to straighten my arms all the way. All right, so you want to feel depression of shoulders and shoulders wide on your back. That's the challenge. And breath out. Do one more. Inhale. Good. Have a treat. Same thing. Let's hinge forward and feel the length of your tailbone. Breathe into the middle spine. And from here, have a treat. So inhale. And we exhale to open fingertips in your peripheral vision. So breathe into the back ribs. Exhale, belly button spine. Is it? It's as simple as that. Take a breath in. Hold here. Exhale. Change your breath. Inhale to open. Exhale. Good. So you guys really resist with the upper body. Draw that waistband in. Two more. Excellent. And one more. Now this time come forward and round over your mat, okay? From here, in this rounded spine, active recovery, draw your belly button in and breathe right into these ribs. Expand the ribs as you inhale, you can feel that. Exhale, belly button is fine. Do it again, breath in and breath out. Okay, we're gonna go to all fours first, facing this way. All right, so we're gonna ease down into swan. So we're gonna extend legs, roll your body with control, and slightly divide your legs. So I'm gonna do swan like this today. Stack your palms, take your forehead down to your hands. It does not leave. You would do a lift like that. Or fingertips in the back of your head, lifting. Or if it's you, you can take your hands right by your rib cage, Draw your elbows into your midline, pressing through the palms. So wherever we are right now, we're going to lift. So keep the eyes on the mat as you push the hip bones down, and then ease this down. Add a breath. Inhale. Wherever you are, slide those shoulders onto your spine. And everyone, I would love for you to think, I'm lifting my heart center and sending the energy to the top of my mat. And lower down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it one more time. Lift up and lower down. Awesome. Okay, so from here, pick here, pick here, pick here. Okay, we're going to do it three more times. So we're going to drive the leg bones to length into the mat. And here we go. If you're here, we're going to lift up, lift up your hands, 
with the taller hands and lower down. Okay, so wherever you are. So press into the palms first. Lift up. Remove the hands. Lift from your heart center. Hands down and lower down. Let's try it one more time. So we take the breath in. We lift up a little further. Exhale and down you go. From here, child's pose, round your spine. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Mm -hmm. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. So we're moving to the long box. So this is um, part of the long box series. So you're going to draw your legs hip width apart, okay? I want you to feel the line up of your ankles, your back, so can you, your knees and your hips. Now, okay, for your low back, whatever is best for you, you can come here or fingertips in the back of the head. All right, now, everyone, just start by pressing the back of your head into your hands, elbows in the peripheral vision, lengthening, not so much tucking the tail, but lengthening the tailbone. From here, you're gonna bend both knees for hand curl. So we would breathe in, we extend front of the feet to the feet to the mat. Here we go. Inhale, good, and exhale. You're gonna do a couple more. And guys, as you bend the knees, I want you to think my ankles are reaching to the outside of my hip bones, so we're really lining this up. I'm gonna do it one more time. Breath comes in, and breath comes out. Press the top left foot into the mat three times on your right only. Press the right hip bone down, and extend the float. Inhale. And exhale, longer leg through that leg bone. Okay, right foot down, here comes left. Bend the knee, extend, keep lengthening the tailbone, guys. Breathe into those back ribs, and do one more. Breath comes in, and breath comes out. Perfect, sit back, child's pose. Literally round your spine. Elbows can be bent or long, wherever you wanna be. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna focus on the shoulder girdle, okay? So we lie long, slightly divide your legs. Mm -hmm. All right, now, shoulders roll back and down. This is gonna be pulling straps. So we start like this. It's almost like a tricep extension. All right, so we lift our heart center. Guys, the back, uh, lift the, um, the nape of your neck, press it up towards the ceiling. So there's no chin action here. All right, so from here, take your elbow back, look at this, look at this, draw the arm bones back, and all you're gonna do is a high tricep extension, and then bend. Okay, so I'm working with my own individual range of motion. So if you can glide those shoulders, keep them depressed, and reach further up, that's awesome. And do it one more time. Breath comes in, breath comes out. Now, lower down slightly. Take your arms to the side for teeth pull. Everyone, take four fingers together. Mm -hmm. Thumbs two. Lift heart, okay, back of the nape of the neck. And everybody, let's start to glide this back like an aeroplane. Lift your heart, ease this back and lower down. Lengthen that tailbone, everybody. Here we go. Begin the movement. Lift from the heart and keep reaching, reaching back to your ankles. Stay lifted and return. Let's do one more like that. That was awesome. So, breathe into the back ribs. Good. Open up those collarbones and ease this back out to the side. Excellent. Sit back. Child's pose, take it if you need it. And we're breathing. Okay, so from here, you're gonna come around, extend your legs, okay, and let's do a roll down, all right? Little transition, inhale, exhale. Begin to slide the tail, slide the pelvis, reach it towards your ankles, all the way down. Okay, good. So guys, this is backstroke, all right? Draw the legs to tabletop, and yes, the leg bones are together. Okay, the setup would be 
Keep your hands to the fist, kind of like we did for rowing. Place them on your forehead, and everyone simply curl head, neck, and shoulders up, okay? Slide the shoulders on your spine. We're gonna lift arms, legs straight up, open everything around, circle around, touch your thighs, bend your knees, bend your elbows, okay? If you will, four things. This is one, we open two, we circle around three, and this is four. Add breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Let's do one more, here we go. Lift, open, circle around, bend the knees, bend the elbows, rest down. Take a breath in, take a breath out. So even though we're doing reformer on the mat, I really want to give you this choice, okay? So um, we, we are gonna do teaser, but let's just do a little teaser craft one, okay? So take the leg, uh, I'm sorry, extend the right leg, mm -hmm. lower it down to touch the inside of the left knee. So there's lots of energy right here. Okay, so from here, arms come straight up to press the shoulders, and you're gonna roll up to a V, capital V. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we're gonna practice there. Huh? Yeah, that's right, I'm sorry. Okay, now, just like we've been doing, roll up and roll down. Curl the tail. Ease it. Feel your waist, your ribs, your shoulders, your head. Let's try again. Draw the leg bones together. Inhale, exhale, rise up. That's great. And then, again, curl. Work this, guys. Belly, belly, belly away from the shirt. Good. Lift the right leg up, then here comes the left leg and lower down. Establish the base, the stability. Okay, so from here, breath in. Exhale, glide up. Good. Mm -hmm. If you need to keep that left knee bent, it's okay too. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Okay, pay attention to the shoulders, guys. Breathe in. Exhale, belly button the spine. No shoulders towards the ears, but press them. And then inhale. And exhale all the way down. Okay, knees to your chest. Here's our action. We're gonna do teaser. All right, I'm gonna give you lots of different choices, but we're gonna do an arm lift, we're gonna do circles, I'm gonna circle the other way, and I have a little surprise. Okay, so let okay, you can do the same thing like this. Okay, teaser prep one, all good. Or we're gonna come to tabletop. Okay, so heavy leg bones into the pelvis. Take a moment, take a breath in. So far, strongest powerhouse of the day. Feel that scoop, really feel this connection. Okay, we're gonna go to teaser, so I'm gonna float my arms to the side. Remember, don't pop in rib cage. Really take the breath into the back and front of the ribs. Here we go, inhale, exhale. So remember, the first one's always ugly. So here we go, roll back down, curl the tail. Use this, good. All right, now we add arm action. So take a breath in and exhale. Come on up, good. We're gonna circle, sorry, we're gonna lower the arms, we're gonna lift them. Now I want you to watch my shoulders, I'm not rounding, I'm lifting from the energy, from fingertip to armpit. I'm gonna do it one more time, yep. Okay, now start to curl the tail. Okay, nothing with the legs, nothing with the legs, back of your shoulders, Knees, body down, hello. All right, so reestablish, connect, teaser, let's go. Inhale, exhale up. Okay, so we're gonna circle around. Can you go to your ear? Whoa, two, mm -hmm. and three, and then we ease it back down. Mm -hmm. So curl the tail, let that slide, and come back down. Reestablish, do it again. Breath in. Sweep the arms into your midline. Now reverse the circle. Down around. Down around. And down around. You ready? Inhale. Exhale. Ease this down. Okay. One little surprise. We're good. Take a breath in. Here we go. Exhale. Come on up. And you're going to salute. Here we go. Out and And out and in. And one more. Extend the arms. Ease it all the way. Knees to your chest, that was awesome. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Take a breath in 
happened to you right now? All right, what we're gonna do one roll up. So remember, as we've translated things from the reformer to the mat, it's a little different, so we do the you know, we do the best that we can. All right? So Extend the leg bones behind the length of your body. It's very connected now. Here we go, inhale. Exhale and round over and come out. Okay, so we're gonna divide our legs as wide as the mat. Put your feet like on the floor or carpet. All right, now this is translating into horseback. All right, so essentially we want the top of our head to our tailbone to look like a C shape, okay? So what we're gonna do Take your hands into fists, okay? You're gonna place them right here. Now, I have an option for you. All right, so relax the shoulders. Begin the curl of the tail. Breathe through the back ribs. Reach your crown of head towards the wall in front of you and try to lift up your pelvis and lower down. We waste no time here, do it again. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. Let me try it again. Inhale. And exhale. Okay, do whatever you need to do. Shake out your wrists, right? I want you to do it two more times. I'll go, guys. Or take your hands behind, or even make fists like this. Whatever, okay? Just two more. So begin the curl of the tail, the scoop of the belly. Good. And here we go. Wait. Inhale. Exhale. Go deeper. Really flex those feet. Last time. And exhale. That was great. Crisscross, round over. Take your breath in, take your breath out. So guys, we're gonna move on to short box. All right, so a short box, you can extend your legs and slightly um, bend your knees, or you can slightly divide your legs a little more and keep quite a knee bend. It is up to you hammies and other things that are going on, right? All right, so bend your knees. Now, from here, I want you to take your elbows together and glide them down to your hip points. The upper part of your body, draw the arm bones in and round over. So just give me round back. All right, so <clears throat> from here, curl the tail and we're gonna round back. So here we go. We go, try to get to our waistband. And then inhale, exhale, depress the shoulders and round up and over your spine. Try it again. Reach the tailbone towards the inside of your mat. Here are the arm bones. Draw your abdominals away from your arms. You can feel that. Good. Let's try it again. Breath, breath comes in. Exhale, 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 exhale. And then breathe in and breathe out. Okay, guys, from here. We're now going to go all the way down. So take the breath in. Feel back of your waistband, your ribs, your shoulders. Okay, guys, without letting the ribs pop, land your head, take your arms, and reach them long. In other words, we have not disconnected. We're still deep into our pelvis, right here, breathing through those back ribs. Okay, hold on. Bring the arms back. Genie the arms, and we're going to lift up. Lift up your head and head. Exhale and round all the way up. Okay, good. Now, take your thumbs together, however you want to do that, okay? So, dividing the legs slightly. Again, you can have, um, bend your knee a little bit, your knees a little bit. Okay, we're gonna hinge. So, the connection stays depression and slide those shoulders on your back. So, I want you to feel open armpits. So, we're gonna, Literally just hinge back and bring it back. So keep the neck connection. So your eye gaze will go to the high 45 and then back to center. Let's try it again. Can you create more length out of the waistband and then sit back up? Let's do two more. So breath comes in, all the breath out, and lengthen one more time. And bring it all the way back up. Okay, now. You're gonna bend your knees, draw the leg bones together. Okay, from here, keep your thumbs together. Okay, so this can be 45, or if you wanna take the challenge straight up, but remember, you really wanna knit these ribs together as we do this. So, hinge forward, and again, 
and from the tailbone down into that mat. We're just gonna go side to side. So kind of I spy the front of your mat. So you rotate towards the front, back to center. Rotate to the back, back to center. Let's exhale to rotate. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more time. To the front. Nice. And to the back. Good. Rest your arms if you need to. Or now, sit up very tall. Ears line up with your pelvis. Extend the arms again. So look at your knees and glide the inner thighs together because I don't want a shift of knee to knee. Twist and reach. Use your um, back. So we twist to the front of our mat. We're going to hinge back to the back diagonal of our mat. Good. Lift it all the way back up and back to center. So just do the opposite. Back corner. Take your eye gaze with you. Mm -hmm. Bring it all the way back up and back to center. Now, the breath comes in, and now instead of collapsing, can you lengthen your top side body? Bring it all the way back and back to center. And when we're done, take a breath in. Breathe out. Good. Glide the leg bones together and back to center. Good. Relax over your lap for a moment. Breath comes in. Breath comes out. Hey guys, this is gonna be tree. Okay, so we're gonna draw our right knee in, open the elbows. Now, we want to be on our sitting bones. So just slightly glide your body forward. Yes, it's hamstring flexibility. So just lengthen the leg, good. Do you have to stretch it all the way? No. Okay, and extend it. Now, flex the foot and point. Like really roll through that foot. Walk up until our arms are straight. However, we're going to want this to happen. So, glide the shoulder blades on your spine, nod your chin slightly, and go into a C curve. Guys, this is how the action will work. I want you to start to slide back, start to straighten your left leg, come on back, walk down your leg, and ease this down. Okay, so a little flexibility and strength. We're going to walk back up our leg, flex the foot, and bring it back and sit tall. Good. So let's come down, scoop in the belly. Mm -hmm. Come to length. Okay. Head, neck, shoulders up. Walk back up your leg. Draw it towards you, and then sit up tall. Let's try it again, okay? Here we go. So find your midline. Work that plumb line, if you will. All. Down. Good. Begin to walk back up the tree. Breathe, 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 breathe. And then sit up tall. Good. Hey guys, from here, I want you to take your right hand on the inside. Left hand is going to take support. Lean back and just open the leg to the side. Yeah, a little stretch. And then we're going to bring it up. Okay, so you find your midline, cross your midline, sit high on the sitting bones. Take your right arm, so it's right arm, right leg, and add a little twist. So feel the leg right here, or I'm sorry, feel the stretch here, and the length in the waist. Awesome. Okay, off to the other side. So it's left leg. I draw the knee in. Mm -hmm. Sit up really tall. All right, so here we go. Extend the leg, and then do it two more times. Mm -hmm. This time, extend the leg. You're gonna stay there, and you're gonna flex and point the foot. Flex and point, and flex. Good. Keep it flexed, walk up your leg, adjust your hip, so now the hip bones are even. All right, same thing. Curl of the tail, start to straighten the right leg. Down we go as we walk, one, two, three. Find the length of your spine. Here we go, lift up, walk back up, get a little flexibility first, and then sit up tall. Here it comes. Curl of the tail. Reach that an the tailbone towards the inside ankle. Down we go. When you come up, are you lifting evenly? Good. And then sit up tall. One more time. Good. So feel the waist, the ribs, the shoulders, the length of the head. There we go. Lift up into your knee line. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Good. All right, so from here, left hand on the inside. Good, take support and just open it to the side. Mm -hmm. Open 
you sit up. Okay, so opposition. So left leg crosses, left arm reaches. Take a breath in. Mm -hmm. Take a breath out. And do it one more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, guys, for a moment, sit cross-legged over the other. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Into a combination of arm stretch and eye uh, up stretch. Okay, so we're gonna come to all fours. Mm -hmm. All right, from here, I want you to extend your legs to a plank. Okay, guys, let's do it like this first. Okay, everybody walk the knees back. Okay, so you come into a modified plank. So listen, <laughs> you're gonna bend your elbows. You're not going to touch your hips, and you're going to lift up, and then you're going to sit back, okay? So this is the modified version of long stretch to up stretch. All right, so we blow our body forward into a modified plank. Now, brush the elbows by your ribs, then guys, literally, open your heart center. Good, open those car bones, like you do on an up stretch. Sit back. Up stretch. Okay, now let's try fold. All right, you can keep it there. We're only going to do it three times. Okay, so we come to our plank. Okay, so from here, glide that belly button into the back of your rib cage. We lower, brushing elbows, slide through, up. Now, curl your tail kind of like down dog, but around the spine. Bring your body through to a flat spine. Okay, ready? So, bend the elbows, brush through, lift up, open these collarbones, and then round the spine. Good, here you go. Breath comes in. Exhale down. Inhale, lift up, switch around a little bit, and then exhale and round. Hey guys, walk your feet forward. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna work into elephant. So yes, this is done with a rounded spine, so I really want you to hang your head heavy. All right, now, <laughs> press the heels down and lift up 10 toes. Again, this is your hamstring flexibility, it's all good. Everyone walk in just a little bit. Okay, so find this. We're drawing the rib cage together on the front, curling the tail. Okay, so now, elephant. Walk forward four times, right, left, right, left. One, two, three, four. Keep your toes up, back to home. Two, three, four. Do it again. So you guys, pretend my arm is right across your pelvis, right across your hip bones. Good, and lift those hip tumbles away. Let's do it one more time. So we walk up to press the shoulders, hang the head heavy, and walk back. One, two, three, four. Stay here a moment. Lift up your right leg, it's low. Square the hips, okay? Bring the leg out to the side. Good, keep squaring the hips. Then draw the leg bone into stork. Yep, round its spine, and replace that foot. Lift up five toes on your right leg. Extend the left leg. And you guys, the front leg, the right leg, draw the leg bone into your Good. Easy. Out to the side. Or is your weight balance on your, on your hands? And then draw the leg bone in. Restore. And then rest down. Guys, bend your knees. Sit back. Circle your wrists. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Breath in. Full breath out. Okay, so from here, we're going to come to the front of our mat. Okay, so into stomach massage. Heels together, toes apart. Now, from here, I want you to take your fingertips and kind of like make bird hands. Your elbows are soft, and it depends on your arm length also, but um, elbows are soft, fingertips pressing down. Now, it's just a matter of balance, so let's find it. The curl of the tail, the scoop of the abs, 
and planks, okay? So we're pressing down, we're opening the elbows widely, we're breathing into our ribs and lifting our ribs off our pelvis. Does not matter how high these legs are, okay? You're gonna extend, point flex, then draw the heels into the tailbone. Do it again. Inhale, exhale, and again. Breath comes in. Guys, eye gaze right to your center line. Press down to extend. Nice. And one more. Extend, point flex. And here, land the heels, lift the arms, and now circle the arms back. Hey guys, with your arm placement, you can take your fingertips to the side. It's okay. All right. However, I don't want this to happen. We're now going to support our spine. Open the collarbones. Good. And lift up. Okay, you there? Here we go. Extend. Point flex. Okay. Do it again. Okay, so I gaze right on the horizon. Okay, check the shoulders. Okay, open up the collarbones. Two more. And one more. Good. Float your body forward and round. Okay, I'm going to let you know I was nice. Okay, so we're here. So, for reach up, same thing, lift this flat spine, circle the arms around, high 45, just extend the legs, bend the knees, extend the legs, bend the knees, keep the heart open, good, and create more length for the spine, and now everybody's going to twist to me, go, let's twist to the back, walk. exhaling as we go, one more time, yeah, really good for the crown of the head, and bring it back and round over. And you're taking a breath. And you're breathing in and you're breathing out. Okay, guys. Extend the legs. We're going to do one roll down. So reach. No collapse. And remember, we're very active. Lifting the ribs off the pelvis. Curl the tail. Open the collarbones. And down. And down. All right. So I'm gonna give you some um, modifications. All right, so our leg action is going to be, we're gonna do short spine, okay? So take, so we're really nice and warmed up now. Take your arm bones down by your side. You guys, hug your silhouettes really, really close. Open up the collar bones. Okay, we're gonna start with broad legs. Simple as this. Extend the legs to the high 45. Bring them to 90, so ankles, knees, hips, and then draw your heels to your seat and to your tailbone. Try it again. As we're doing this, inhale, hold your breath, exhale. So there's no movement in the back of your rib bridge. There's no movement in the front of your rib bridge. Breathing breath into the space you create. Lift it up and bend the knees. Okay, so if you do reformer and you do short spine, we are going to do it like that. I will tell you because we don't have the straps in our hands, our arm bones are way more active than they normally are. Just really uh, be conscientious that we're opening up the collarbones. And guys, if you're not jutting your chin forward, I want you to feel from the nape of your neck to the back of the base of your head, lengthen that. That's all you're going to do. All right. You absolutely can do what we just did. We're doing this three times. This is short spine. So again, special attention to these arm bones. So press them into the palms. Open the collar bones. So, frog legs. Mm -hmm. You're going to extend the legs to the high 45. You're going to lift to the high 45. You're going to bend your knees towards your ears, hug your heels, and lower. Ribs, waist pelvis. I say that one pretty well. Here we go. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Start to lift sitting bones up as you bend those knees and then exhale. Press the back of your head into the mat, into the mat. One more time. So we breathe in. Lift lots of breath. Bend your knees. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Fantastic. Draw your knees to your chest. Rest your neck if you need to. Okay. So you guys, this is going to be a little combination between 
semicircle and tendon stretch. So you're gonna blow your body up, okay? All right, so we're gonna start here. I want you to think bridging, all right? That's all you're gonna do. So we take the hands back, and again, remember, your fingertips can be here, your uh, fingertips can be back. All right, so from here, we want to set up a very long spine. Yes, we're gonna use our glutes a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna measure yourself first. Okay, so boost your body up. You don't want it like this. So you really do want it. So knees, hips, ribs, shoulders. Good. Now, kind of like a warm up, I want you to lower down, going ribs, waist, pelvis. Try again. So you guys, your eye gaze are over your knees, open collarbones, shoulders connected on your spine, and lower. Ribs, waist, pelvis. No reverse back, you're gonna have to come back now, okay? And we're just gonna do it, you're not gonna practice it. Okay, so we lift up, this is um, semicircle. So we lift up, mm -hmm. now we begin to lower. Ribs, waist, pelvis, we slide back. And we round our spine. Let's come forward, lift up, long, straight spine. We begin to do your C curve. So it's ribs, waist, pelvis, slide through, strongly flex those feet, pull back, leg bones into the pelvis one more time. Lift it up, open the collarbones, <clears throat> excuse me, inhale, and then slide through to that. Great job. All right, round over, circle your wrist, take a breath in, take a breath out, super. Do again, breath in, and breath out. Okay, so guys, in a mermaid, you're gonna use kind of the front of your mat, all right? So let's take our legs off to your left. All right, so here we are. You are going to hold on to the ankle that is stacked, okay? From here, we're gonna get the sense that it's nose, navel, tailbone, and we're not hinged forward, really um, lengthening the waistband into the back. Extend the arm, okay? So if you are in the body studio with this, with us, this is like doing it on the yoga chair, okay? So you're gonna sit up, and you're gonna lean over just a little bit. And then you come a little more. And you come a little bit more. Now, not the chin back, open the collarbones, and lift back up a third time. We lengthen the spine, ease this up and over. Good. Lift up, a little T, land the elbow. This is a pure stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys from here, you're gonna teaser to switch sides. So you just lean back and bend your knees. Good. So we, we reset, and ideally these leg bones should be stacked and your um, sitting bones are straight down in the back. Good. All right, so from here, hold on. It's all good. So we sit up, nose, navel, tailbone. So we breathe in, we exhale. And as we do this, there's no contraction. It's like leaning over imaginary ball. Lift it back up and start again. So you inhale and exhale. Go a little further. Feel the stretch, feel the length. Bring it back up. Inhale, exhale, all the way over. Let's return to a T, bend your elbow, counter stretch. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna do some side bends. So from here, teaser again. You're gonna lean back, teaser the legs. Okay, so from here, top leg crosses, kind of like at the ankle bone. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna come up to a side plank. You can modify it, absolutely, okay? So if I was gonna come up and modify, I'm right here. Okay, so everybody else, we've wrapped. We're gonna extend the arm. Now extend it by your ear, and now guys, inflate the top one more. Good, and really breathe breath in the side line. Then, side plank, arm bone here, and you're gonna come down a little, lift. Come down a little, lift. And one more time, down a little, and lift. Good job, bend your knees. Switch other side. So we find a cross, okay? We find your modified plank. So let's come to side plank first. 
okay? So wrist over your armpit, and extend long. Good, open the body, take the arm by the ear, mm -hmm. and then your top lung, really steep curve, laterally bending, good. Active side body, then bring this back to side plank, arm bone returns, and we come down to the plank, down to the lift, and down to the lift, good job. Okay, bend the knees, nice. So from here, uh, let's lie back down, okay, so you can do a hold down, or just, you know, come on down. All right, so from here, just some leg circles proc, okay? So from here, stand the legs up and do this, fingertips in the back of your head. Curl your head, neck, and shoulders up, come to proc, okay? So from here, I want you to proc the legs out, draw the leg bones together, and give me a circle. So we kind of start with frog. Drop back in, circle around. Good. And one more. Mm -hmm. And reverse. So it's around. No play, guys, in the upper body. Really stroke this belly. Uh -huh. Now from here, literally frog. Can you extend? Can you lift? Mm -hmm. Can you extend? Lift and bend one more time. Excellent. Now, reverse it. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. And guys, one more. Knees to your chest, and down you go. Okay, pull your body all the way up. And we're gonna come to knee stretches, which is a little different, all right? So, I want you to come to all fours first. And you're gonna come back to your plank, okay? We're not gonna be here very long, so I would go ahead and come to a plank. So you guys, from here, draw the right knee towards your right armpit and round your spine slightly, and then plank. Do the same with the left. Exhale, and extend. Exhale, and extend. Round, left. Round, left. Round, left. Guys, one more set. Good. Sit back. Round. Good. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. So we know when we come to running in reformer class, it's almost done. All right? So on the mat for running, we're going to do this. Your toe knuckles at the very top are going to come together, okay? So from here, your arm bones are long. Curl head, neck, and shoulders up, and keep your arm bones down. Now extend the legs, so keep those knuckles together. Good, and then we bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee, bend the knee. So this is running, okay? If you need to rest down, bring the legs straight up towards the ceiling, good. So we go, four, and three, and two, and one. Come down, take your feet for pelvic lift. We're gonna do it like a shoulder bridge though. So reach the fingertips towards the ankles, open the collarbones, press into the four corners of your feet, and lift up. Good. Now, with a flat spine, kind of like we did in the very beginning, hardly touch down and lift back up. Now, as we lift back up, sometimes our tendency is to send the weight towards our ears. So can you be mindful of the shoulders? Good. We press into those arm bones. Lower down and lift it up and do one more. And then lower the body all the way down. Draw your knees into your chest. Okay. And with a brief finish. Here we go. Roll your body up. Okay. Come to a side plank position again. Alright. So from here. Find your side plank, or we can be here, it's okay. And guys, we're gonna stack, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go to star. So I want you to do star like this. Top arm, top leg, you're gonna come forward. Pulse, pulse, leave the top arm where it is, and sweep, let it go. Pulse everything forward, 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 and reach. Do it one more time. Forward, forward, and reach. Now we're down, and we're switching. This is it, guys. All right, so modify 
Press up to that side plank, stack, lift up, top leg, top arm, and we go. Pulse, pulse, and we sweep. Pulse, pulse, and we sweep. One more time. Pulse, pulse, and we sweep. Guys, come to a plank, come back to child's pose, rounding over your lap. Deep breath in, take a breath out. Face the front, junior your arms. Okay, and it's a big finish for you guys. I can't do this. So what I want you to do is stand up. I can't do that, so we're gonna do this. <laughs> and here we go. You guys, have a great day. Thank you.